Hello friends, we're here in the vineyard with little Napoleon here and um, I want to make a little video to show you him and uh, his progress. Unfortunately, we don't have much progress to show other than the fact that we did manage to keep him quite um, comfortable and um, uh, we've been uh, last week we've done another checkup at the vet because we had a couple of uh, rough days and um, I wanted to see his blood work um, the ultrasound unfortunately showed um, a tumor on the liver uh, but the blood work was quite good in good parameters and um, his analysis blood work were not uh, bad at all surprisingly um, so not a problem with the kidneys um, we do have a problem with the blood pressure that um, it was incredibly high and um, the machine could not read it that's how high it was but um, uh, he is um, on medication for that also and we don't have any more problem with accumulating liquid in his back legs because we did um, we've started doing some physiotherapy um, but um, it's quite painful so I won't be showing you that it's um, we're trying to relieve his stiffness and uh, straighten his um, basically it's some stretchings um, and uh, stretch his spine and his legs for as much as it's not very very painful for him but I do not see any improvement despite the fact that we have uh, we, we did manage to get our hands on uh, Josie Josie little baby look we have here your favorite Bobby your favorite dog <laughs> And um, so um, we, oh, sorry, I get a call. I will decline and continue our video. Um, so um, we did manage to get our hands on a box of, uh, so two pills of the trococcyl, which is the most um, potent, the most powerful, hey, girly, most powerful um, anti-inflammatory there are for uh, this kind of disease. Uh, it did give him relief for a few days, uh, especially after he gets the pill, a few days his, uh, uh, you can see, but uh, he wasn't able for, since before the trococcyl, he wasn't able to stand up anymore. When I got him, he was uh, standing up barely, but he, he was able to pick him, pick up, uh, pick himself up and just uh, wee or do something and then obviously collapse, but um, not anymore. And... Um, uh, it's been going on for uh, a few weeks now. Um, I don't know if it's just... I think he also stopped trying because I kind of do everything for him right now. And I'm... I'm he... He's... Um, he, he sees that he has somebody to take care of him. This is all I wanted, actually. I wanted to try the the very hard to get apparently and uh, expensive uh, medicines that was supposed to be very good for him and in the meantime to give him the best time of his life i know the people that got him that had him and i'm sure they didn't even gave him a, a kind word in their lives so um I just wanted to give him a few, a little bit of time to to see what it means to be spoiled, to be loved, and to be um, to to have somebody to take care of you. And we have been doing that. Uh, uh, so um, maybe it's because of this that he started to just not try anymore and not try to to pick himself up. Um, 
he wakes me up a lot <laughs> during the night he's uh, um, he asks to be to, um, turned uh, over on the other side. Uh, I don't know how to show him better. Okay. Um, and um, he asks for water and he cries if he uh, weed and he cries if he wants to poop. And uh, we have a little bit of a problem with his stomach lately, but I think it's due to the fact that we have been spoiling him with a lot of the best food ever. He only had like dry food and moldy bread and not dry food like for dogs. Uh, uh, dry bread I mean this is what the dogs here are fed um, uh, leftovers uh, whatever so um, he he eats now eggies and uh, sometimes he likes cheese and sometimes uh, chicken and he loves uh, canned food for dogs so he's been receiving um, a little bit of everything that is good um, it's um, Josie Josie oh, Josie doesn't care that's Josie <laughs> uh, Margaret I think is feeding the dog so uh, they're all very alert trying, trying to get their hands on um, a piece of chicken or something and um, so um, he's quite fussy our little Napoleon here, he wouldn't eat fish or stuff like that. Anyway, um, we are going to try uh, for a few more days until maybe we can have um, the uh, some more of the trococcyl delivered and see how it goes. But uh, I need to be honest, I, I, I don't see any any improvement when it comes to his state other than obviously being um, painless as painless as possible and as comfortable as possible and um, loved and cared for and uh, he kind of demands it usually <laughs> and um, hey girly hey girly hello Hello, you're going home, you know, you're going home this week. You're not going home, <laughs> unfortunately, mostly for me, unfortunately for me. I don't want your tongue. No, go away. I could go away. <laughs> go away. <laughs> go away. Hey, girly. Hey, girly. Hey, girly. Oh, my God. I don't want your breath on me. Go away. <laughs> Josie. That's Josephine. She always comes near and stays with um, Napoleon when uh, he's... Um, when he's outside in the garden, like if I need to work in the vineyard here or I need to do the cats and stuff. So I take him with me as much as possible. He doesn't like to be alone, obviously. Um, and he doesn't really like the company of the other dogs. He's quite uh, annoyed by them. But he does tolerate uh, Josephine over there and she's... Um, she likes to come and stay with him. Uh, she's, uh, she's really lovely. I will tell you her story on another occasion. So for now and for the sake of me being able to upload uh, the, um, the video, these are the highlights and the, the, this is the situation with Napoleon. Uh, he is comfortable. He is, um, he has known, um, for now, for a while now, what it means to be a pet. And it's all I wanted for him. I wanted to try this treatment before we decided um, if we are going to let him go because he's not a very old dog and we wanted to see if 
we can improve his situation. I have not seen improvement despite everything, but uh, we're still um, kind of trying. And uh, I think he will let us know when it's time for him to 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 go when there is basically no more what of the things that we can do for him uh, right now he's enjoying very much me being uh, around the clock uh, in his uh, service and uh, yeah <laughs> We want to thank you very much for the support and um, we understand that uh, it's, uh, it's not the easiest times um, considering everything that is going on. We are very grateful for the fact that you are uh, with us and uh, we, I have to admit that we do have um, some issues with um, finances lately but I think everybody has that um, we thank you very much for being um, uh, supportive of our work and uh, our um, in our quest to try to help us the ones that um, seem to need us and um, we we're gonna be around and uh, we're gonna need your help uh, continuously and um, hopefully we are going to be doing a lot of good for dogs like um, Napoleon here hopefully not um, in a, a situation as bad as he is but also dogs like the ones that you see around here so for instance this princess here sleeping beauty hey sleeping beauty hello hello she's going home she's uh she's going to england what's the matter baby what's the matter napoleon what's the matter it's okay what do you want what do you want oh we're sighing what do you want it's okay. Josephine over there, who is Napoleon's body, pillow body, and uh, she's uh, just um, uh, 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 full of lice eggs <laughs> that are dead, hopefully, right now. <laughs> and um, she came to us in a very uh, pitiful state, but right now she's doing very good and um, all the other um, a hundred and I don't know how many I need to make another count <laughs> lately so uh, goodbye from me and Napoleon for now and we'll keep you um, updated on his state uh, he is comfortable and he is uh, he knows it that's the most important thing right now thank you and bye